blue bar still coming through from the side of Gen G, largely because of the Shan kind of going for a walk. Oh, we're just going to take that one away now. Score going to have to just operate around the top side of the jungle. It's a bit of a bonus for the Gen G big one. Oh, in the bottom lane, though, things going to get a bit frisky here as Fly goes down below half HP. Ignite going to be used out for Vada. Does have his flash down, though. Theoretically, Braum doesn't oh. need farm. As Score. Score really should not die there. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Yes, it would be. Welcome back. Specifically. Nice round. Score coming in from behind. That's going to be a TP in the back as Smeb gets ready to arrive. Fly and Core JJ going to be in a sticky situation and no one else is nearby to help stop this. Stun comes in. Score locking down Core JJ. He flashes to the side. They jump in on a fly. Not level Beautiful. 6. Can't get the wild growth. Knock up comes through from Smeb. And that's just going to be two kills. Very swift. They will find that pick off onto the red buff. Now score wrapping around as the turret is just under fire. KT playing this so very well. Calling from the side out from Daft. Already a mission down to half HP. That's going to be exhausted onto Camille and score. He's got nowhere to go. He goes gold and he'll throw down the ultimatum. But he is just going to be mincemeat there as ruler fight. Aatrox pushing up very aggressively bot side. Already two daggers towards just get that tower. the attack speed. And you're right. We'll pick up the, the turret. Smeb said in an interview after their last victory over BBQ that he prefers the Trinity Force build. Being overextended is actually the way you play against a funnel comp because it doesn't really exist. You can't really be overextended with no jungler. Well, that's going to be Sand United here. They're looking for Fly Flash over the wall. Mata finds a taunt and they just melt down that Lulu. Fly did not stand a chance. I'm away from that objective and it seems like it's going to be working. So not going to be trying to rush down for the Baron. As Smeb, in the meantime, played. he's just going to go ahead and try to knock down that turret. Take the Dark Flight away. Heal up very quickly, but the Krugs have not spawned, so he'll back oh. away. Or waiting over the wall. He's going to jump in. He's going to look for the pick up there. On a roller. He's already down so low. Wildco comes through the shield there, but it's not enough. Score assassinates the Kai'Sa, and this is where everything goes sideways for Gen G. A double kill over to the veteran here on the side of KT Rolster, and been in full control of this game. Waiting to see a single game earlier in the season. Almost died to the Raptors. That wasn't his best look. Yeah. This one, however, comes in. Perfect timing. The ultimatum means no escape for Ruler. Dies through the utility from the Lulu. And it doesn't matter about your ally health bars or the enemy health bars. If the Kai'Sa does, dies first, so does the hopes of Gen It's a trouble bubble, but not going to be the battle star. You count those. It. There to stand in front, but it's going to be a dog pile in on a QB down to half HP. Ultimatum going to come through, the turret's going to fall. Seems like KT going to be happy with that one, and Smeb does have to flash away as that exhaust comes through. Core JJ keeps himself alive, but in the meantime, it's going to be Depp taking out that first inhibitor in the top side. It's actually a mistake from. He's going to turn in, looking for the Baron. In the meantime, Depp is taking down another inhibitor in the bot lane. And Kyle pushing up. The damage, Gen G, they have corralled themselves inside of the Baron pit here. It's down to half HP. TP's coming through from Cube as well as Dev. As all hell Am breaks, so big pop ups coming through. Ambition gonna go down, and Gen G tries to retreat. Ruler gonna go golden. Smith still alive. Ruler flashing away, but he's been taken out at the double kill. Over to you, Cal. Two more. It's always been the season for KT Rolster, and they take down Gen G and make you think that perhaps next time they'll do it again. But not what the fans expected, wanted, sure, but you think back to that fan vote. It was only 33% for KT. Everybody fully confident for the most part that Gen G was going to come in here.